What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to change the battery of an iPod Classic 6th generation 80 gigabyte. And this process will work for honestly a 5th, 6th or 7th generation iPod. So let's get started. Okay, so we take our spudger. We just need to get in between the front and the rear case. And start prying out to release the clips. Yeah, this one is difficult. Whew, finally, that was a doozy. Okay, so instinctively, once you get the case off, your first reflex might be to just open this up like a book. You don't wanna do that. Battery cable's running right through here. You, you do that, you could rip the battery cable, you could pull the battery connector right off the motherboard. Next thing you might instinctively wanna do is just grab on this battery cable right here and pull it off. Don't do that either. Same thing could happen. You could rip the battery connector right off of the motherboard. Come on, zoom. Okay, so what you want to do is take your spudger, hold down on the battery connector, take a pair of tweezers, and then pull up on the battery cable. Boom. That battery is just a tad bit swollen. So what we want to do is peel the battery back and to get rid of the, or to take out the battery, we need to dislodge this aux port cable. So we can come in here like this, or really you can just gently take your nail and pry up on that here cable. This one right here. So now that's back, you can take the cable, pull it out. You don't need this right now. Next thing we need to do is remove this battery. So I have a, a curved spudger used to help me pry this up. Oops. So again, going back with our instincts, it might be kind of instinctual for you to want to just take this shove the uh, spudger under her and just tsh, pry up on it. You don't want to do that. All along the back side of this battery is adhesive and the hold cables, uh, the hold switch cable that runs right here runs a little bit under the battery right here. And the adhesive is on this cable. So you want to kind of slowly pry this up and then once you get it up, you know, eighth of an inch or so, you can come at it with the spudger and kind of loosen the cable from the battery and then pry it up the rest of the way. I'll show you how to do that. You 
just, just kind of work it in there so you're kind of just getting it up just enough. I don't know if you can really see this, but it's starting to come up a little bit here. And you can see this cable here. So you just kind of want to roll your spudger freeing that from the bottom side of the battery. I think we're free, so we can continue to pry up. And again, you don't want to just rip it out, because I mean, you, it can still be attached a little bit. You just want to take it up a little bit at a time. There it is. And we are free. Okay, so the next thing we do, we reattach our aux cable. I'm sorry, I'm kind of casting a little bit of a shadow. we are in we just fold that aux cable back over okay so the next thing we need to do is pry up that battery clip again right here so again it might be you might think that oh I'm just gonna stick something under here and just pry it back up but you know just like pulling the battery cable out if you do that you can still rip the entire thing off of the motherboard you're gonna have a bad day if you do that so you want to perform the same practice of holding it down while prying up. So take spudger on the white part right there, hold it down, take your handy dandy little battery cable lifter upper tool, which is just a paper clip. And kind of work your way under here. And there it is. Fold your hard drive back over, take your battery. down that's it any time that you open an iPod case you're bending the outside of it out and we want to try to close that back in so it doesn't look like the iPod has been opened so what I like to do is just take the case and then just use my fingers and just try to bend it in and then we just press down There we go. And then, just to be thorough, I like to check them just to make sure everything is in fact working. Center button works. Left and right headphones working, pause play works, next works, previous works, and menu works, and the hold switch works. All right, that'll about do it.